So in this video, we're going to see about how to use marrow plancy effectively, effectively, effectively. One last time. One last time. Effectively. Marrow is an amazing neat PG preparation app that has been guiding students for quite some time. And I'm also using marrow for quite some time and it is actually really awesome. And I have found some ways by which we can use marrow effectively. So marrow plancy can be divided into videos, notes and QBank. So in this video, we'll be seeing about how to use these three individual aspects of marrow effectively. I have already posted a video about marrow previously. And one question was that is marrow from the basic level. Can we start marrow from the scratch? And the answer is absolutely yes. In marrow, they are basically teaching from the scratch. The videos are from a very basic level and anyone can watch these. So what you are supposed to do is that just choose the topic you want to watch. Choose the topic you want to learn and click the video, sit down, watch the video. That's it. Simple. You don't have to worry about the need to know the topic even before watching the videos because the videos will be from the most basic level. They will teach you about this topic very clearly. Marrow is not exactly like some review for Neat PG. Marrow, in fact, is a separate medical college. Like honestly, it is a separate medical college with different teachers and with different sets of question banks and with different notes, different way of approach. It is simply just another medical college. One very, very important thing is please use the speed option in Marrow. Let the video run in 2x. Most faculties are speaking pretty slow. And usually my videos will be running in 2x only because it is running in 2x one hour video will be completed in just 30 minutes so it's like i'm saving time rate so this is also a way by which you can simply be efficient just by increasing the speed of the video the next thing is notes if you're someone who writes notes along with the class then uh, i don't know what to say stop it get some help because in my case the notes are already available and everything is given already they have written detailed notes in proper handwritten organized way and they have given the notes to us also so why do we have to rewrite the notes why should we write the same thing again and again what is the purpose of notes what is the one purpose of notes basically it is to store information maybe to further add on it is helping us to summarize the information maybe put it in a more concise and more approachable and an easy way to search in the future so what else is the use of notes? Nothing else. So simply put, notes only make you familiar to the topic. They don't help you learn the topic. So stop taking notes when you're watching the Marrow lectures. Just use the pre-existing Marrow notes. They already have all the notes. You can buy those notes for around 6,000 rupees. And if you don't want to buy those notes, we have the PDF version also. The PDF version is literally roaming in Telegram. Just go and ask anyone and they'll give you the Marrow notes PDF. Use them, annotate them and it will be nice only. So what you are going to do is that you are watching the lecture and on the side you have the pre-made Mara notes and as the faculty talks about the various topics you are simply going to see the notes and you are simply going to familiarize yourself with the notes. You are going to familiarize yourself with the Mara notes and then once the class ends re-familiarize yourself with the same notes and now it will work as if all this was made by yourself because you also annotated it. You have got familiarized with the topic also. And so this is one way by which you can use Marrow notes effectively. And the next thing is questions. Every topper, every neat PG topper is like, QBank saved my life. QBank helped me. They're literally praising QBank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe from now on, I should also start focusing on that. QBanks are an amazing way to actively engage yourself with the topic. Like once you listen to the lectures and once you've gone through your notes, you have a basic framework of the particular topic. Now the thing you have to do is that go and attend the QBanks. Mostly the QBanks will be relevant to the topics you have just studied. So you will be able to recall those stuffs actively which is apparently the best study technique. I have talked about this in my previous video also that is active recall and space repetition. If that sounds interesting to you make sure to check them out. So what I would suggest is that So what I would suggest is that Revise those topics, attend the QBank in that same day, in the very same day you watch the video and then check your scores, compare yourself, learn from your mistakes and then repeat. So the final summary is that you are going to watch the Marrow lecture first. Don't do anything else first. Watch the Marrow lecture first. And then as you go through the Marrow lecture, annotate your notes. Please don't write your own notes. And then after annotating your notes, once the lecture gets over, revise what you have studied. Once revising, give it some time. Let it fall deep inside your brain. And then after some time, attend the QBanks. And once you are done with the QBanks, find your mistakes, learn the memory gaps. And then go and fill in the memory gaps by going through the notes alone. And one very important thing is, please watch the videos in 2x. That is the best thing you can do with Maro and that is really amazing. And by now, you probably know that I hate note taking and it depends on the purpose actually. For example, if you're taking notes in a particular way, 
it will actually aid you but in case if you are taking notes in the wrong way then it is going to waste your time so in this video i have talked about why notes are useless so make sure you check them out and as always thank you for watching see you soon